In cities across the country, luminaries stand as tributes to loved ones this Mother's Day weekend. From Chicago to D.C. to here in Situate, where the tradition began at Situate Light. There's something about a lighthouse and being, you know, that, that bit of light in possibly an otherwise dark grief. Kelly Jo Sunday helping to organize this year's display. She lost her mother when she was 26, before she was married, before she had kids. Mother's Day for sure is one that just brings up any kind of feelings of grief or ah, I guess just longing for that mom to be in your life. Cara Belvin understands yeah, that longing. That. Her mother died of breast cancer when she was just nine. It was eight years ago now that I sort of had this idea that nagged at me, an idea for um, a way to build community for girls and women who could relate to the loss of their moms. I sort of realized that not a lot had changed in the last 30 years since my own mom died and in terms of services and resources. She started Empower Her in Situate with the simple idea of holding a free retreat every Mother's Day. The first year, seven girls took part, traveling to Boston for makeup tutorials, yoga, to make new friends who could understand how they were feeling. And the goal was for these girls to look around the room and realize they're not alone in their grief because in their town, you know, across Massachusetts or in their school, they think they're the only girl in the world whose mom died. Empower Her now hosts hundreds of girls and events not just on Mother's Day, but throughout the year, and it's expanded nationwide. The charity also now connects girls with mentors. After several years of helping out at Empower Her, Kelly decided she was ready to step into that mentor role. In my particular case, the girl's very young, so we go to the playground or um, we just take walks and do things. These luminary displays help raise funds for all the services provided by Empower Her and and provide some hope that healing will come. That beautiful display out on the water at night and the light shining and, and you know, sort of bringing a mom's light back on this particular holiday. It's pretty powerful. Very powerful. And we want to be sure to mention that girls who have lost their moms can still sign up for Empower Her's free retreat this Sunday. There will be yoga, TikTok tutorials, hair, makeup. Find out more on WCVB.com. Erica Tarantel, WCVB.